And we are live. Welcome to another episode of AB Tribe of Quick Talk. And today we're going to be talking about David Morrell versus Radavoye Kalajvic, the fight prediction. And let's get right into the stats, starting with David Morrell. David Morrell is 26 years old. He is 6 feet 1 inch tall. He has a 78 inch reach. He has a record of 10 wins and 0 defeats. And now for Radavoye Kalajvic. Kalajvic is 32 years old. He is 6 foot 3 inches tall. He has a 76 inch reach. He has a record of 29 wins and 2 defeats. We got to fight, people. David Morrell is coming back. He last fought in December of 2023. He finished that fight in the second round. Now he's moving up to light heavyweight to chase David Benavides. That's the fight that he's been calling for. He's been wanting David Benavides for a long time. Morrell turned pro in 2019 after an amateur career that consisted of 130 wins and only 5 losses. David Morrell is a beast, man. He's fast. He got power. He's very technical. He could fight on the back foot he can pressure he has strong fast combinations he can also be defensive and because of all that experience his boxing iq is crazy he has size he got everything this guy is the full package he is the boogeyman i'm really hoping people get behind him and really hype this kid up because he deserves everything he's been overlooked because of david benavides but he's maybe even better let's see if david morrell was able to get the same opportunity I'm sure he will be able to have the same success. Kalajvic been around, man. He turned pro in 2011. He secured two title shots in the past. He fought Arthur Bedebeef in one of those title shots. This guy fights very unpredictable. He fights in a fast pace. He's in there forcing the finish. This guy is highly aggressive, and he wants to exchange from round one to round 12. The guy got power. He has a good jab, but he has great combinations. It's hard to gain his respect. Even when he's hurt, the dude is still throwing and swinging he doesn't come into a fight to survive he's there to throw down and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody Kalajvic is the taller man but Morel has a two-inch reach advantage Kalajvic is going to come out hot and test Morel right away he's not trying to fill him out he's not trying to find his timing he's in there to take Morel's head off I'm sure Kalajvic will force David Morel to fight on the back foot most of the fight David Morel brings a lot of different styles to the table he could fight on the back foot and his power makes him a big threat when he's forced to fight moving back. He's mostly going to try to counter Kalajvic. He has the reach advantage. He's not the one struggling to reach his target. Morel doesn't need to do anything that he hasn't done before. He's going to have a shorter guy lunging and jumping on him all night. All he has to do is play it defensive and time a good counter and down Kalajvic goes. I wish I could say that Kalajvic might come into this fight slower and more technical, but that's not his style at all. He has fought all his fights the same way. He doesn't use his advantages but he likes to create chaos and put fighters in situations that they have never been before for my prediction i'm going with david morrell i see him being too technical and too skillful for Kalajvic. i think we're going to see a stronger and faster david morrell at 175 and i think he's going to give us a master class performance against Kalajvic. and he might just start stealing some of the shine from david benavides at 175 pounds and that's that's all I got for you. Don't forget to drop a like, a subscribe, a comment, a share. Do all that good stuff for me. Until next time.